Well, good evening everyone. Welcome to our second meeting of our online class for this evening. Well, um, with the subject of English for translation with me, Miss Momo. Okay, thank you so much for still attending our class because I have checked your names uh, through our um, Skype, but I'm not, I'm very, you know, uh, confused. I don't know why there's something trouble with the uploading PPT, maybe because the file is too large. So I would let just, uh, directly presenting here if you have any uh, question you can directly later on uh, ask me or you can use the you or you can open the ppt through your phone which i have uploaded in our group uh, in facebook okay next um well uh today we we have two kinds of meeting two kinds of uh explain discussion First, we will have like a trans a model one for learning activity two, translating business letters, and if we have enough time, we will come up to the second another translation or process trans translating process for model two. But before we have a introduction, I have a, we have a I have already introduced you about our discussion. Uh, but we have also material presentation after this, so we will focus on language points. That is emphasizing that you need to consider to this um, material and then through the discussion, I mean, and then also through the presentation. And then the next is discussion. We will have individual tasks and a question and answer session during the presentation. And closing, a summary and feedback to reflect our uh, meeting for this evening. But before, um, please make sure that you have off your uh, voice recorder so in order to keep the you know the video or maybe the meeting uh, is running well so there is no distraction okay so the only me who is uh, active for the voice recorder uh, and then others can stay silent first after we have a material presentation you can go on with the questions or we will have a practicing after this. Well, first we will talk about translating business letters. What are business letters? If you take a look on your module, you will find out that business letter is can be, uh, you know, a kind of a company letters from from maybe customers or um, you may open your module first. There is a like a learning activity too, but because there is no definition of business letters, let me try to introduce you to business letters. Uh, in any type of business correspondence, writing business letters have always been the most way of communicating with each other. In today's advanced industry, almost every company is constantly dependent on its marketing department and promotion of its product or services. The best way to do this is by sending properly written and well formatted business letters to all your clients and customers so uh yeah business letters can be a kind of a in bahasa indonesia itu surat ya surat dari misalnya dalam konteks uh, usaha atau perdagangan atau industri boleh perusahaan pemerintahan juga atau bagian promosi misalnya atau misalnya ada uh, pelayanan dari produk dan sebagainya itu bisa di, dikirim secara tertulis dengan format yang baik dan uh, kepada klien atau customer anda misalnya nih nanti mbak emasnya atau teman-teman akan kerja di perusahaan who knows you will also be for example secretary or maybe working in a government or working in a university or school maybe and then you need to write a business letter so make sure that you will actually uh, note some important things that we need to be considered as to write a business letters um, through our presentation. So every reputed company tries base to stay in contact with its various partner such as customers, suppliers, government, agency and so on. The business letter do serve as a bridge to communicate with this partner. So 
Jadi, bisnis letter itu adalah jembatan untuk berkomunikasi dengan yang tadi saya bilang klien atau customers. Oke, okay? well, next. Uh, we have one of the example. I will later let you to read after the my presentation. I uh, read by one by one, but first let me explain first that this is um, the address that you need to consider or you need to note in writing the you know of what is a business letters. Maybe it is quite the same with writing personal letters, but what makes it different is about the content or it's quite formal comparing to the personal letter karena itu bersifat pribadi bahkannya dia bersifat personal dan kurang formal maksudnya atau informal tidak resmi oke okay? nah uh, di sini customer service ditujukan ke customer service dear sir or madam i'm writing to complain about digital clock radio that i bought from designers electronic in grafton street in dublin Three months ago, I bought it as a present for a friend. It worked perfectly for a few days, but then some problems started. It can only tune into a view radio station instead of hundreds. I cannot switch the night light on and off. The alarm clock doesn't work either. As a result, my friend was late for work. Nah, ini nih salah satu contoh surat untuk komplain. Komplain itu dalam, in, if you want to translate adalah Uh, ke bahasa Indonesia berarti dia mengeluh ya berarti surat yang ditujukan ke customer service oke okay? karena dia mau mengeluh tentang suatu produk misalnya when I return the clock radio ketika saya mengembalikan uh, the clock radio to the shop the shop assistant was firm and friendly and refused to repair or give me a refund um, jadi karena ada masalah ya ini salah satu contoh masalahnya Katanya asisten tokonya atau yang penjaga toko itu sangat tidak ramah dan menolak untuk memperbaiki atau mengembalikan uangnya. So, I would be grateful if your company could repair the digital clock radio for me. If it is not possible, I would like a full refund so that, oh, di sini maksudnya if ya, di sini akhirnya jika ini tidak mungkin, saya mau meminta full refund, pengembalian secara full. So that I could buy something else for my friend. Jadi saya akan membeli sesuatu atau hal yang lain, hal yang lain untuk teman saya. I look forward to hearing from you shortly. Nah, I look forward to your sweet with Margaret. Jadi dia I look forward to ini sebagai penutup. Nah, ini salah satu contoh aja. I will explain to you clearly about the pattern of the business letters. Let's see. Nah, kalau Mbak Mas mau writing business letters. You can uh, start by salutation, misalnya dear mister. Ini kalau di bahasa Indonesia kita biasanya terjemahin surat resmi itu seperti kepada yang terhormat atau dengan hormat. Uh, yang terhormat, uh, bapak ini, Mr. Brown, misalnya Miss White, dear sir, dear madam. Nah ini salah satu salah. Ini namanya salutation atau greetings. Nah starting, bagaimana kita start? Misalnya kita bisa menulis dengan We are writing. Kita sedang ah, we are writing. Sorry, ini kalau kita artikan satu-satu, we are writing. Kita sedang menulis ya. Tapi ingat, our previous material talking about present continuous tense. Kalau misalnya nggak semua tense secara pola itu harus diterjemahkan langsung. Misalnya nggak perlu pakai sedang gitu. Kita sedang. Tapi misalnya kita menulis ini atau kalau bahasa Indonesia itu biasanya seperti Uh, tujuan saya mengirim surat ini to inform you that untuk menginformasikan kalian bahwa to confirm to request atau to inquire about untuk mengkonfirmasi atau meminta uh, atau to inquire about so I'm contacting you for the following reason saya mengontak kalau misalnya uh, bakunya apa ya kita harus memperhatikan ya bakunya itu saya menghubungi sorry saya menghubungi anda untuk beberapa alasan dan beberapa contoh nah nanti kalian bisa lihat contoh beberapa contohnya in your PPT in your file that I have sent to our group Facebook group sorry lihat di sini sorry okay next um, sekarang lanjut ya Oke, okay, sorry. 
Nah, referring to previous contact, jadi misalnya kalau, uh, ini beda ya, kalau misalnya dalam surat itu kalian membalas surat wawancara misalnya, atau surat dari klien, misalnya, kemarin dia mengirimkan surat komplain, kalian membalas, thank you for your complaint letter pada tanggal 15 Maret, uh, in reply to your request, Uh, untuk menjawab pertanyaan atau permintaan Anda misalnya seperti itu ya ini namanya referring to previous contact jadi ini salah satu uh, ini uh, salutation kan ini penting nah di sini maksudnya adalah uh, tiap formal letter itu beda-beda atau surat resmi jadi ini salah satunya misalnya ketika kalian mau buka dengan preview menjawab surat tapi kalau enggak kalian bisa memiliki request kalian bisa langsung uh, you can directly open with uh, we would like to appreciate it if you would I'll be grateful if you could can you please send me could you possibly tell us or let us have in addition I would like to receive uh, it would be helpful if you could send us dan sebagainya ya nah di sini coba perhatikan Uh, would sama could ini salah satu contoh kenapa kita mengatakan form, these formal letters karena biasanya could itu berasal dari kata can nah ini yang berarti menunjukkan kata formal atau misalnya dapatkah kamu mengirim atau would itu juga kata basicnya adalah will atau uh, bentuk dasarnya nah ketika dia pakai would you atau we would berarti itu dalam konteks formal ya itu sudah apa diksi kata atau diction in English next uh, selain itu ada juga beberapa contoh um, surat konten surat maksud saya isi surat that you can try to apply for example you would like to offering help would like you ask to would like be happy to we are quite willing to Our company would be, please, to, sorry, ini ada misspelling, M is typing. Uh, maukah kamu misalnya uh, kami bantu dengan apa, atau kita akan sangat senang ketika kita membantu misalnya ini to what. Nah, ada juga giving good news, we are pleased to announce that, kita sangat senang untuk mengumumkan bahwa misalnya you are selected, kamu terpilih menjadi salah satu misalnya uh, candidate for our company, misalnya mungkin mbak. Masnya mau daftar di perusahaan dan dapat surat email formulator seperti ini. Dan selanjutnya, giving bad news, we regret to inform you. Misalnya, kadang ini, ini, ini paling cocok nih ketika ada beasiswa. Terus, kita menyesal untuk menginformasikan bahwa, nah itu kan giving bad news. Jadi kayak uh, salah satu uh, bad news, tapi tetap dituliskan dengan konteks yang sopan atau konteks yang formal. Nah, ada tadi complaining ya, salah satunya express my dissatisfaction, tapi ini yang lumayan, uh, ya tadi kan yang surat sebelumnya lumayan sopan, eh, lumayan halus ya, ketika dia bilang complain, kalau ini ketidakpuasan. Apologizing, mohon maaf, we are sorry for the delay in replying to Nah, I regret any inconvenience, misalnya saya menyesali beberapa ketidaknyamanan yang disebabkan oleh siapa. Terus order, ini sorry ya, ini order, thank you for quotation, we are to place, dan selanjutnya. Oke, okay. nah, referring to payment, nah ini yang paling penting adalah kalian menutup surat itu dengan closing remarks, atau dan in closing misalnya, uh, dokumen. Misalnya in closing, oh ini sorry, ini kalau ada attachment, closing remarks itu yang paling penting. If you can be any further assistance, kalau misalnya butuh, um, kalau misalnya kalian mengirimkan surat, tentang informasi terus uh, you require more information jika kamu membutuhkan banyak lebih banyak informasi ya seperti itu dan yang jangan lupa referring future contact kalau misalnya kalian mendaftar perusahaan terus kalau misalnya kalian mau upload CV nah kalian bisa uh, misalnya kontaknya siapa yang bisa dihubungi uh, di WhatsApp misalnya atau ending dan dan terakhir ending business letters Make sure that you will write sincerely, your sincerely, and sincerely yours. Nah, itu juga best regard kalau di bahasa Indonesia atau target language. Biasanya kita pakai sekian dan terima kasih uh, dengan hormat gitu. Oke, okay, seperti itu. Oke, okay, that is what is writing business letters. Nah, ini mungkin uh, lebih details selain dari yang ada di modul kalian. So, Well, now learning activity two. Nah, ini translating business letters. 
we will have um, some kind of uh, practicing after this. Yeah, but before, I would like to check your name one by one first, yeah, and to make sure that everyone is here. Nanti kita try untuk terjemahkan satu satu, okay? Sentence per sentence, I mean. Wait. Let me check this card. Well, um, I would like to call your name first, check one by one, her name C, and then your word B, C, but in C, and her nose. Yes, still here, miss, still here, saya. Kamu dulu kan, 